What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Nathan and on this planet we send it and what we're going to be getting in today well we're going to be finishing up part three of the three part series and I don't want to say too much about this particular trip as far as like the scenery that you guys are going to see. I already said that in a previous if you saw part two what my thoughts are but from this point on I'm going to kind of just leave it up to you guys the audience on what you guys want to make out of it. I think going overall this trip was absolutely worth it you know over to you by the time you end up watching this video if you're going to think it's worth it for these views but in this video what we did is we left camp and we kind of just headed up a truck trail and then up the truck trail it did start getting kind of rough in some areas so you just be mindful of that and it is an out and back so whatever you go up to you're going to have to turn back around and go through the same thing although we decided to take the wash on the way down just to make it a little simpler but what we did is we ended up going up, we hit up this one spring called Quill Springs, and then just right around the way was a mine that we ended up going into. And that was actually a pretty cool mine. I've been in quite a few mines out here in the desert area, and this was probably one of my top ones. Not necessarily that there was crazy amounts of activity there, but it was just seemed like this was the first time that you went in a mine, and they actually possibly found what they were looking for. But then after that, we just continue on up the trail all the way up to the point where it ends. And then we see just some of these scenery. Again, I'm going to leave it up to you on what you think of it. And then we just turned around and made our way down to it. So that's what we have in plan for this video. All right. I got a plan in place. Risks were acceptable. Let's go ahead and send it. Our first stop was Quill Springs and you can kind of see here part of the ground was wet. We didn't necessarily see an active spring but at least there was some wet area. The other cool thing about stopping here is I can't necessarily vouch for the authenticity but there was actually some Native American drawings or what appeared to be Native American drawings here at this stop. So just around the corner was this mine that we decided to go ahead and walk into. And it's pretty dark as you can see here, so I'm not going to show too much of it. And it basically kind of teed off. You went in, you hit the tee, you went to the left maybe 20 yards, and then you're probably able to go to the right maybe another 30, 40 yards. But this was a fairly cool site because it appeared that there was actually some pretty good action here to where they were actually mining it out. As you'll hear my cousin here in a second once we get towards the end of these clips. Can't really see anything in here. No. Rat poop. <laughs> Looks like there might be something that was ate in there and left. That's rust, I think. Yeah. Cool, so I'm just chilling in here. Yeah. This is called a stove. And what's yeah. it, um, basically, it's a, uh, they found a mineral they wanted, Yeah. and so they took it all in this area, and so by doing that, it's called the stoke. Okay, scoop it out. Yep, they scooped it out. My GoPro died here, but what we're looking at are some drill holes where they would have put dynamite in to blow this area out. 
All right, so we just finished the cave right there, and that was pretty cool. I think that was what, like one of the deeper caves we've been in? Yep. That was, yeah, that was cool. There was a part there that my cousin who watches a lot of mining videos was telling me about. It looks like there was a thing there in the mine where they found a mineral whatever it was that they were looking for they found a little bit so they kind of like scooped it on out of there and so that was that was pretty cool and you could still see there was like some difference or well, correction there were still some places to where there was drill holes to where maybe they either whatever did something maybe dynamite don't know but right now we're heading up to i think what's going to be the final part of this trip where it's going to be a lookout space so we're just going to continue up this little canyon and just do a little canyon creeping all the way up to this lookout spot and yeah hopefully it should be a pretty good view get some nice shots and everything and i still got some drone battery to get a nice view of the can uh, correction of the valley so that should be pretty cool yeah a lot of fun so far yeah it has been a lot of fun So this trail is actually an out and back and I do need to advise you it can be a little rough so just know that if you choose to come on this trail coming up to these views you're going to have to do all the trail on the way back but just just be advised however I'm going to say I thought it was worth it and I kind of debated on how I wanted to present this to you but I figured I'm just going to show you some drone shots to some soft music and allow you guys to form your own opinion on what you think of these views. What did you think of this part of the trail today? I liked it. I mean, uh, there's a couple rough patches on this trail, uh, some uh, washboard on the on the um, power line road, and then we hit a pretty pretty decent rocky area. It slowed us way down, but uh, yeah. other than that, I 
I thought the mine was really cool. Uh, we went inside the mine. It was, I don't know, went back about 100, 150 feet or something like that. And then it split off into two si two sections. It was really cool to go in there. It was, it was nice. You could walk in there. I'm six foot tall and I had room over my head, so I didn't have to crouch. That's always nice. Yeah, that's a good point. It seemed like uh, although when they said we weren't going to be going out doing any rock crawling and we were just going to go out and look for a spring, I was actually thinking, like, is it even going to be worth coming? But it actually ended up definitely being a good trip. Kind of yeah. hit a lot of the scenery, you know, scenery, not really too hardcore like it was earlier today. But, it, you know, it was, it was enough, and we got to see some really awesome scenery there, from, you know, from on top of that one vista when we went up and took those drone shots that was really cool too as a matter of fact aj uh thank you for the recommendation on just bringing us here in the first place yeah you know even that like rock area we were earlier today and then especially you know seeing these vistas today good call yeah um so definitely thank you for that i'm sure everyone was pretty happy with that but i think uh well we're just going to be ripping it on the way back looks like mark's turning up the speed right now so we'll get going here too um and we're all going to be heading back to camp and having some lunch Hopefully we'll get a nice good campfire keeping us warm and sitting around and shooting the smack for a little bit. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> <laughs>